Creatine serves as an energy substrate within the brain, specifically with the hippocampus. That's important because when you start looking at individuals who suffer with neurodegenerative diseases, uh, it really anything that falls under the umbrella term of dementia, let's say Alzheimer's, when their brains are essentially sliced after life and looked at uh, the creatine stores or st uh, looked at, they're always depleted in creatine. That's really interesting because now that's being used as a way to, through fMRI uh, testing, they're trying to essentially gauge how much creatine is stored in the brain as maybe while the person's still alive, uh, who may be suffering with these dementia type diseases as a way to determine if creatine supplementation may be one way, maybe not to prevent it, but to mitigate the increase in these different uh, types of dementia, types of neurodegeneration. Uh, the reason I'm so, I guess, passionate about it is my wife, we did some genetic testing, kind of just more so fun and, and wanting to look at the BRCA gene in, in my wife to see if she had it. And we ended up, while she didn't have it, she did have an APOE4 allele. Mm. And so that's for people who aren't aware, uh, if you have the APOE4 gene, you have one of them uh, passed down from one parent, it increases your risk two to four times for Alzheimer's. If you have both of them, it's, ten to, it's pretty much a guaranteed you're going to get it, uh, for lack of a better term. But anyway, so when I saw that Erica, my wife, uh, had one of those, I uh, started looking into ways to try and mitigate that as early as possible. 